Hello everybody and welcome back again to Mass Effect 3. We are still on Eden Prime and we have everything we need to open the port. So let's get back there. And somehow I suspect that Yep, Cerberus Cerberus isn't isn't happy to do that. Alright, uh let's see. What can we do with you? Someone still alive around here? And I should probably take different cover. Oh, what happened to you? Let me let me help you. <laughs> Alright. Oh, you are an engineer. Alright, I see. That works. Um I think there's still a turret. Yes, uh, I need a better cover for that. Oh, uh, grenade. <laughs> also, I don't think your your cover is very effective, Yara. Anyway, let me deal with the turret over there. First, we need to get rid of the shields. Hang on a second. Maybe you want a grenade. That didn't really work. Oh! They're still coming alive as well. Okay. There we go. And, well, now she's are gone and we can just destroy that thing. There we go. Um... That seems to be all for now. I could use a few clips, though. There we go. So how how would I get back to that? Oh, uh, hey! <laughs> and we already have the next group of enemies. Um, you need to die over there before you set up another turret. Yara, what the hell were you doing over there? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I don't really understand my companion's AI. <laughs> Alright. Um, I still hear fighting going on. But I don't see any actual enemies on my radar. Now let's have a look around and see if we can't find any more people to fight. But I'm pretty sure I've been in here before. And I have, I have no idea how I'm supposed to get back to the port. Probably going in the completely wrong direction. And I don't know where my crew members are either. Oh, um, I see. I see. We have more, more company. Alright. Maybe I should just go where the service people are, because I'm guessing they are trying to protect um, the port. Right? Uh, let me give you another singularity. <laughs> and we have another shield guy over there, but we can lift them up. There we go. All right, all right. Looks looks fine. So let's let's just follow the trail of Cerberus bodies. <laughs> They've retracted the bridge. We have to find another way. Across. Oh, well, find another way to the port. Okay. Um, well, let's have a quick save and see what we can see around here. Well, at least I have more equipment to salvage. Tr 
Troop deployment update. Local resistance is heavy in the south and west sections of the colony. We've pulled most of our troops from the north neighborhoods to, their to assist. All remaining troops in the north neighborhood. Continue standard patrol activities to maintain the illusion of a large presence in that area. If the locals knew we were understuffed, they could do some serious damage. More intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. Alright, um... Oh, I didn't notice that this there was a drop over here. Okay, um, these buildings look all the same. I have no idea if I've been in them before. Well, apparently I have not been in here before because there's stuff that I can pick up. <laughs> oh well. Resistance information update. We've gotten word from our source with the need in Prime's resistance movement that we can expect an attack on our security center between 2200 and 2300 tomorrow night. They're pulling in forces from across the colony. This gives us a perfect chance to destroy their leadership. Once the attack is contained, allow Dr. William Cambiata to escape, firing near miss shots to keep it realistic. He's giving us good information, and with luck, the locals will see him as a daring hero and the only man to escape a Cerberus trap. They might even put him in charge. Oh, he's he's a spy. Perfect. This intel will give Eden Prime's resistance movement a real chance to push Cerberus out of their colony. <laughs> Apparently this gave me an achievement for some reason. Well, okay. Um, yeah, find another way to the port. This is very unspecific, but apparently these are places that I have not been in before, so maybe I'm on the right track here. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know, guys. Let's just... Somehow I always end up in this building. And it's always wrong, so... Yeah, this is where I got my first piece of intel, so... I don't think I have to go back in there. Um... Hmm. I'm pretty sure I've been here before. Can I shoot this stuff? No, I can't. And yeah, this is a bridge that I can't can't open. Well, this is going to be a little bit more complicated than I thought because how about how about I climb up stuff? Maybe this gives me better view on where I need to go. So um no, this this isn't really helpful at all. Because it doesn't really show me where I need to go either. Ugh. Seriously? Who built this place? I have been in there before. And what about this ladder? Let's just try other ladders. Um, whoa, no. That's not right either. And this only brings me back to this place, so... Where would I... Where would I go? Oh, hang on, hang on a second, can I... Oh, I can't, I can go here. Well, <laughs> I guess I've just been a little bit stupid. It was a lot easier than I than I expected. Okay, okay, uh, we are, we're on the right track, I think. <laughs> let's, let's do this. Um, pot is over there. Probably can't jump down here. No, I can't. <coughs> Let's find a ladder or something. <coughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, we made it. We made it. Let's do this. Let's wake up a Prothean. I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. <laughs> Wait for pod Lots transmission. Of inbound, Commander. We'll have to hold this position. Okay. Oh dear. All right. Um. Let's let's do this. 
Um, let me try to do this again. <laughs> there we go. Very nice. And you need to die. And I will probably just use a singularity on you. There we go. And of course we have the next wave already. Oh, and I see someone in there. I see you. I see you. To be careful, he tries to flank us. Let me see with you from close up. There we go. Oh, and I guess I got a Liara again. Oh, let's change that. There we go. And maybe I should send you to a good cover. How about... How about over there? My dear. I'm on that it. should work. And, oh, we have company in there as well. Let me deal with that. Oh, oh, I ran right into that grenade. Well, that was stupid. <laughs> Alright, let me pick you up, guys. <laughs> I see somebody inside. Can you maybe a little bit closer? There we go. Right, I think he's actually dead already. <laughs> um, so, someone is over there, and oh, we have quite a few people over here. Uh, let me take some cover in here. All right. That seems to be all. Looks like we've got a second to catch our breath. Wish my corner man was here. I could use an ice pack. <laughs> and I could use a few clips. There we go. Has the life pod ended stasis mode? We're almost there. Okay. If anybody's low, there's a Cerberus supply cache in the building next door. Well, I can lay down um, a singularity to block enemy access. <laughs> well, that's that's a good idea, Liara, but I think I think I, I'm good. I have a bunch of clips. So Oh! Oh! Um, I, I didn't, I didn't expect Not that. Don't let it get close. <laughs> they just drop a damn atlas on us. Okay, okay. Um, let me start off by taking down the damn shields. <laughs> All right, shields are done. Um, we have some friends over here as well. So I need to take care of that. Um, hmm. I could use a cover that gives me a cover from both the Atlas and the Cerberus guys over there. Alright, uh, just drop a singularity right when they're trying to drop down here. That works. <laughs> Alright, um, still have the issue of the Atlas though, so let's go back to that. Warp should do nicely here. I'm just going to throw another grenade in your face as well. Alright. That's about it. And we have enemies from this side now. Okay. Um, let's see, where are you guys? Probably in this building. Yes. Oh, there we go. And the rest seems to be over here. There is somebody hiding over here. I I have seen you. Where are you? <laughs> that was strange. Okay, one more guy. One more guy somewhere, guys. Oh, there you are. Alright. That seems to be all. There. You can open the life pod now. Alright, very nice. Very nice. Let's let's do this. Oh. 
Okay, let's see. <clears throat> There, you've got it. Hmm. Goddess. Wow. <laughs> it may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. <laughs> oh dear. Be careful, he's confused. <laughs> Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! <laughs> no, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now! I think he's the only one. How many others? Just you. <clears throat> you can understand me? Yes. Now that I've read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand mm -hmm. your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. <laughs> it wasn't a failure. Well, they got exterminated, well, except for him. <laughs> but maybe we want to be encouraging in this moment. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. <laughs> I'm surrounded by princes. <laughs> it's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. Alright. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, we got ourselves a live Prothean. A living Prothean? That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never mm. seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. <clears throat> can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. All right, all right. So... Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about a new guest. I'm on my way. We just put him into the cargo hold. <laughs> What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. 
Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. <laughs> But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. Well, still, we should be careful here. Um, let's not be too trusting here. We've never met one before. Nothing wrong with playing it safe. Should we be worried? That depends on you. <laughs> I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. Huh. It can work both I ways. See. Like your beacons. Yes. Which? <laughs> you found one. You saw it all. Our destruction, our warnings. Why weren't they heeded? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. <laughs> and nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive. In <laughs> yeah, I guess. We pieced together what we could and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We oh. never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst. No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, <sighs> killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits, bravery, strength, cunning, a single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. <sighs> I am the anger of a dead people, demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Okay. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. <laughs> Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. <laughs> that is kind of extreme. Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dried. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. <laughs> I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts <laughs> if honor matters. Well, you have this a point. silence is your answer. I can, I can see what you mean. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains <laughs> only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans <laughs> sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. <laughs> I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered that. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry. Never mind. What do you wish to know? He's, he's pretty arrogant, isn't he? 
However, we can ask him a few questions, so let's do this. Um, yeah, tell me more about your sensory ability. We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people, imparting experience through touch, the chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. <laughs> we evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. So this explains the beacons. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. All right, can you send anything about this room? So, could you read something about this room? There was liquid, a form of incubation. The DNA of a uh. Krogan who lived here. It was powerful, yeah. prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. <laughs> okay. You two probably would have gotten along. Um, all right, tell me more about the Protean civilization. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. <laughs> what was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have? And can you tell me about <laughs> your religious beliefs or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember mm. was seeing my planet on fire. I see. <laughs> and Liara is so starstruck, it's kind of cute. So, uh, yeah, how was civilization before that? What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves oh. Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. <laughs> so you're talking about slavery? Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. <laughs> and if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. Okay. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. Huh. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide <clears throat> until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago mm. in ways we could never imagine. Yeah, um, so interestingly enough, they also tried to, you know, unite the galaxy against, well, first the other synthetics, but they tried to do it by force, and um, they were not successful with it in the end. All right, tell me more about your mission. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. <laughs> we would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us. And the Reapers discovered our plan. So what if it had worked? Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option, <laughs> you would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, <laughs> you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, 
Thank you, I think. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess it worked out that way, but it, it kind of makes you wonder if if life in the galaxy would have been uh, really that great if the Reapers hadn't uh, obliter obliterated the Proceans, because they don't sound too pleasant either. <laughs> anyway, tell me more about the Procyon device. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. <laughs> and tell me more about the Prothean War with the Reapers. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Hmm. Yeah, we, we met uh, this vigil, um, I think it was a VI on Ilos? Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet mm -hmm. Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanon. Huh. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It mm. delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before <laughs> I was born. Well, we can change that. You can, you can have a visit there if you want. So tell me more about how you fought the Reapers. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system. Planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a mm. population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Well, still, it didn't, it didn't really work out for you. So why did you think you lost the war? Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? <laughs> what had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided <laughs> and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only <laughs> hope. Yeah, let's see. Maybe, maybe we can... Uh, defeat the Reapers with that. Anyway, um, I think I have asked all of this, so uh, let's... Uh, Thank you for talking with me. Finish this? I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. <laughs> oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. <laughs> There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved. <laughs> I believe they're amphibian. <laughs> I don't they think he cares. Flies. <laughs> Maybe they still do. I don't know. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. Though I still need time to recover. The shock has not worn off yet. I understand. This must be a hell of an experience for you. We're just glad to have you aboard, Javik. All right, all right. So I have, I have a, a Prothean crew member now. Do I? Is he actually? I can't. I can't see my crew members when I'm on board the ship. But it always annoys me. But um, so much has been lost. So much has changed, and yet the Reapers are still here. Okay. So apparently. Um, he probably doesn't doesn't have anything else to say. For me, it was only yesterday. Well. Our empire spanned the galaxy. Now we are only a myth. 
So, what is this strange table? I'm recovering my strength. I will be ready soon. All right, all right, fair enough. Um, yeah, well, this was interesting. Um, so, I I guess we have finished this uh, DLC and we actually got a crewmate out of it. So, let me have a look at my journal and apparently I have a new message. Okay, let me have a look at that as well. New article on Eden Prime. Alliance officials confirm a local resistance movement has sus successfully pushed Cerberus forces off Eden Prime. Cerberus attacked Eden Prime for reasons that remain unclear and set up facilities to occupy the colony. But after constant attacks from a united populace, Cerberus troops retreated. Alliance officials are sending in evac evacuation transports now to get colonists off world before Reaper forces reach the colony. We owe this victory to the Alliance resistance leader, Edward Crabb, said in a prepared statement. The people of Eden Prime have always been ready to fight, but Alliance Intel gave us the tools we needed to push those Cerberus bastards <laughs> off our planet. Many resistance fighters have said they plan to enlist to support the Alliance. Well, I'm glad that my my intel was apparently useful to you. Anyway, um, yeah, I guess um, this leaves um, our next actual mission, which is Palavan. Um, I guess the side missions can wait for a while, so we are going to Palavan next and uh, try to find the Primark. So yeah, thank you for watching and see you again next time.